Hello, this is another video about level data. Today we will import some Leica level data in GSI format to TBC. In this project, two benchmark points, NW02 and TT12, have fixed elevation values. And two middle points, TT10 and TT11, don't have any elevations to start with. We will bring in three GSI level files to compute the elevations and in the end create control quality elevations for all the points. To import a GSI file, use the same drag and drop method. The import format editor detects similarity between the import file and the predefined templates and it's suggesting one of the templates. Our GSI is using meters according to the word index in the file, so the second template should be selected. With the correct template, the import preview pane is now displaying the records properly. Click Next twice since we have some control quality points in the project already, I will change the coordinate quality from control to unknown here, so that TBC will prioritize the existing elevation in the project. Next again. To read the GSI format, TBC uses the variable row type definition, where different types of data records are included in the same level file. For example, some rows are formatted to contain elevation data, while other rows are formatted to contain observation data. Each row type is identified by a unique row type code. TBC has interpreted the GSI codes and there's no need to modify the definition here. Click Import and save the change after the import. Merge both points with the existing ones in the project. The level editor pops up. To learn more about how to use the level editor, click the banner now and check out an earlier video. For this project, a few things need to be taken care of. First, we need to change the standard arrow per kilometer for this file, based on the instrument specs. Second, instead of using benchmark artificial elevation, I will change it to compute it and adjust all the runs later on. Third, these two runs need to be merged so point 10 TT10 will get a new elevation computed. Let's merge the runs first. This file was taken on day one, I'll call it run one then. Change the standard arrow per kilometer accordingly. Uncheck all the middle points and only keep the start point and the end point. Now change the elevation type to compute it and hit tab or enter. This file is ready for import now. A warning message will pop up. Since we will do the adjustment later, you can ignore it. Now drag and drop the second GSI file. Since we already changed the coordinate quality in the definition, we can now import the file directly.
merge points again. Then follow the same steps in the level editor. Repeat the same steps for the third GSI file. With all three level files imported, we can merge the level files into a longer run. Select all three files from Project Explorer Imported Files, right-click for Combine Level Files, or go to the Survey tab, Combine Level. In the dialog window, choose which file you want to keep all the runs to. Run 1, 2, and 3 are in one file now. We can merge them together so that NW02 will be the start point and PT12 will be the end point. This time, we want to use the existing fixed elevation for both NW02 and TT12. So change the elevation type to coordinate and hit enter. Elevation updated. Scroll down and make sure TT10 and TT11 are still using the computed type. For TT12, change it to coordinate as well. This new run starts and ends with known elevations, so we can see the misclosure info as well as adjust the run. If you want to keep the delta elevations for further adjustment, select Allow Network Adjustment. In this project, I want to create control quality points, so I pick the second option. Merge the points again. Instead of seeing the level observations, we now have four points with control quality elevations. Optionally, delete the two empty GSI files. This concludes the workflow. Thank you for watching. See you next time.